Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you already can guess in the title, is a video of the things that I have found brilliant um, using within it. Things that anywhere from like healthcare to toys to bedtime equipment, just a random selection of items that I have used <coughs> with this little guy, 10 months old. 10 months old, mister. Where has that gone to, hey? Yeah, so stick around and just see all the little bits and pieces that I've really enjoyed using over the last 10 months. Okay, so I'm going to start the video off with like the feeding and like healthcare side of the things that I've been using. So some of my fair things are these. The Tommy Tippy, just the bog standard Tommy, Tommy Tippy bottle. Um, we originally had Vinny on the Avent ones and he just couldn't adjust to them at all. They just didn't work for him. They gave him tummy ache, etc. So we purchased him the Tommy Tippy and he gets along with these amazingly. He's been using these since he was a month old and like I say he's now 10 month old and we haven't had a problem with them. The next item that we absolutely love and we use constantly all the time and out of all my children that I've taken to dummies this has been the only brand that they've actually taken to and it is the Nook Dummy. It has a really weird shape which is like that. Um, I don't know why they do, I've tried all different types of brands of dummies but it always comes back to the same brand which is the Nook one and just recently Mother Care has just started stocking Nook dummies which is amazing because I've been paying over the top to buy these from like eBay, Amazon etc. Okay he's joined us now because he's decided that he wants to beat the tripod, haven't you? So the next one on my list which is probably just you think like oh that's blatantly obvious but it is cowpole sachets because these things are just amazing i have them in my handbag i have them in the nappy bag i have them in the car i have them in the house and they're always to hand whether he uses them or any of the other five children use them they are really 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 handy to have it's measured out um as a five mil portion and it's just something that is just so useful when you're out and about, so definitely cowpaw sashes, especially when you're teething like this little mister is as well. So these are brilliant. Okay, then I'm going on to spoon and bowls, which again, someone might think that is blatantly obvious, but it's trial and error because some spoons are absolute pants. They do not work, they're rubbish, it falls off the ends. These ones are by Munchkin. They come in a pack of three, so you get two, like, not hard, but kind of like, they're not like really soft either but you also get this like flexy rubberized one in the pack so you get two like this and one like this and I think they were £2.69 and you could get them in this like unisex colouring or you could get them also in like a pink purpley colouring pack as well obviously I've got a boy so I went with this colour they are brilliant they don't do your bit where they tell you when the food's too hot etc but they are just really great spoons they've got a really good dip in I, I've got along with them amazingly and I can't recommend them high enough plus they're super cheap. £2.69 for three, you cannot go wrong. The Brother Max Bowl, again, this is my fave baby bowl. I had these ones for Cole, who is now four. Um, so straight away I thought, right, I'm going to re buy them for Vinnie. Just can't fault them. This handle is amazing. You can buy suction bits to go on the bottom for when you want it to be like a non-slip bowl when they're like self-weaning themselves but I use it for all these different purees, his breakfast, snacks, you name it. Um, I got my TK Maxx but they sell me mother care boots, it's all over the place. Um, yeah, to come in a two pack and I think they were about, well mine were like 2 99 for two but I think they're about £4.50 everywhere else so yeah brother Max bowls. And then the last thing on the whole like feeding kind of like section is these. Um, plastic backed material front bibs with the velcro fastening super quick to put on super easy to use waterproof so that all the food doesn't seep through the cloth onto their lovely clothes and spoil them a pack of five is about two pound fifty in asda which is where i normally get mine from and i just cannot recommend these high enough um when they get scruffy just bin them because they're two pound fifty for five but they save their clothes some at shocking because basically who wants all the nice stuff full of stains 
Okay, going on to like sleeping and bathing now. So the items that I've absolutely loved, he's coming again, aren't you? Such a little monkey. This little monkey is trying to get the tripod all the time. This is my error when I when you get him to this age and the mobile. Yes. Oh, excuse you in my video. Cheeky monkey. Right, let's get back to the video. So as I was saying, bathing and bedtime. Um, the essentials that I have used, which I've absolutely loved, are the following. Do you want to go down now? Are you going to go down? You go down then. Go down over there. And mummy, carry on please. Is grow bag. Um, these things. Again, you all know them. They're the baby sleeping bags. Um, I've had the grow bag, which is the one tog one for Vinny, because we live in a three floor house, which gets super, super warm. And the higher you go up in the house, obviously the heat rises, which means that the bedrooms can be absolutely too hot. And we want the central heating on, so his bedding has to be perfect for him with the rest of the house being warm. So we found the one tog, is sufficient for Vinny in our house because it is so warm. So we had the grow bag one and we had this pattern, which is like a little car that we bought him. Nothing really exciting, but it was the only pattern that we could find at the time, which was like half decent in the one tog. And this is by grow bag. And this is the not to six month one. So now he's got a bit older. We went out looking for another one and we could just find nothing but like 2.5, 3.5 tog, which is too hot. We find that it gets too sweaty and too hot in that tog. So we found this one in Ikea. It is such a garish colour, right? Please do not judge me on this colour. But for the time being, until I find something else which is suitable, this is what he's going to be using. What are you doing again? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right, let's show you our grow bag. So it is this one and it is from Ikea and it is one tog and it's like a, the most softest fleece. It isn't it Vinny? He absolutely loved it. I mean, like he just loves sleeping in it. Has a massive big zip all the way down so he can do easy access, nappy change at middle at night, etc. Or getting him out straight away, you know, like without fiddling. The armholes, yeah, and the head hole. And you absolutely love it, don't you? Can you see how much this kid loves this grow bag? And it was eight pound. Um, so such a bargain. It came in blue, which was in not to six. And then in the eight, the six to 18 month, it came in garish green and pink. And I do not know, I don't know why they've done it in garish green for like the boys colors, but anyway, that's the color that it's in. I'm really hoping that Ikea change it and make it in like cream or grey even, grey be amazing but for the time being we've got garish green but do you know what, it suits him and it's fine for now until we can find one. Are you getting grumpy? Are you getting grumpy? Hey? Yes. Right, I've sent him off for a few minutes. So the next thing, which was something that I've just found recently in Ikea, is this humongous changing mat. I'm going to bring it a bit close, it's like a chevron pattern to it this was five pounds and it is absolutely amazing for putting on the floor on the landing when we go to bath in it and basically keeps the carpet from getting wet marks on baby cream once we've creamed him up etc so i just bob this on and then put him in his towel on top get him all dry my carpet stays in nice condition doesn't get baby cream all over it it's washable and look how big it is oh my goodness it's absolutely huge it's like at least double the size of a normal baby mat. So yeah, five pound in Ikea, waterproof fact and slight material front. The next thing that I absolutely love and once Finny got too big for hoodie towels, this thing is amazing. And it is a giant hooded towel. I'm going to actually insert um, a, like a little mini video of how we use this but it's absolutely amazing i can't recommend it high enough um it's by the company called cuddle dry and it's just such a staple piece that i use all the time since it's been about four months old it washes amazingly and it just basically if i'm trying to describe it is 
it's a giant hooded towel but it also stops the mum from getting wet too and I will now insert a little video of this in you so you can kind of get the gist of it. Right so this is the cuddle dry towel that I'm going to show you. It's super super easy to use and it's just been such a game changer come bath time. So you have a giant big hooded towel in theory but the beauty about this is it's not just a hooded towel it's also like a mum apron as well so it has two poppers I tend to just use one of them you attach it round your neck like so and then it has ribbons which you tie at the back I'm not going to tie it properly but basically get the gist of it and then when you come into bath the baby as you can see the snuggle bath which is also in this little video you can bend over the baby can be splashing away and all your clothes stay completely dry because you're covered in a big like mum apron as such. Then once the baby is ready to come out of the bath, you just undo your ribbons at the back. You pick the baby up and place the baby's head in this hooded part and then you can cradle up the baby wrapping around so the baby stays warm all the time plus there's no getting the baby out, trying to baby slip in as it's dropping onto the floor etc. Everything's all secure and you're all dry, baby's all secure and then you basically just go down to the floor as you would do on your changing mat and then you can basically lay the baby down, undo it and it just goes back to a normal hoodie towel and that is the cuddle dry infant towel. Okay going on to the next item is this. And this is a snuggle. I think that's how you pronounce it. And honestly, this has absolutely been a game changer for me for baby baths. I've always, up to baby number one, I bought a bath. And after that, I just got the bath seats that went into your bath and used those. But then I saw this and everyone said they were absolutely amazing. And honestly, I'm not even joking, like, it is like the best thing I ever bought. I think it was $24.99. I purchased mine at John Lewis's. And I can't recommend it high enough. It has this special groove in the bottom. So the baby's bum sits behind the back of here. It's got like a foam piece at the back. So that it's nice and comfy for your baby to sit in. And it's just absolutely perfect. The baby sits so beautifully in here. And just comfy with the right amount of water. And because it's, it's just lovely and slant. It's just the most perfect bath. It comes in pink you can get here. Or you can get blue. Obviously we went with the grey because it matches more in with the house decor. But I can't recommend this high enough. Um, and yeah, I would definitely say to anyone who was planning on getting a baby seat or bath to get a snuggle because it's just been an absolute game changer on the bathing situation. I pop this inside my big bath upstairs and then just fill it up with the taps to where the level should be and just sit Vinny in and he sits in so comfortably. He's not slouching down because of this big bit that's in here. Okay, my last item in this kind of like category is muslin blankets, muslin wraps, muslin like um, little swaddly type of things. Where are you going? What a monkey has been this video. Hey? Right, come and sit here with mummy and tell everyone how much you like these. Hey? Is this your snugsy? Yeah, this is his snugsy. Vinny loves to go to sleep with these. He has one in my nappy bag, he has them in the pram, he has them in the car, he has them in his bed, he has them everywhere. They wash super easy, we use them for mopping him up with. He mainly loves them because he loves them for sleeping with. When he was a tiny baby, because he was a May baby, so he was born in the really hot summer last year, I swaddle wrapped him so I put him to bed in one. A million and one uses for them. You can use them as babes, mopping up sick, anything you can think of to do. These are amazing. Um, these are by Bullaboo Baby and we have quite a few different patterns and designs in these but I can't recommend these high enough. I know again it's probably one of those things that most people have anyway but my little one absolutely loves them. You do don't you? Look at him now, he's already got it. He's snuggling away with it aren't you? Is that your snugsy? Yeah, 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 you love Snugsy, don't you? Yeah, this is his little Snugsy Wugsy and he absolutely loves it. So yeah, so that is our last one in this section of our faves. 
So another item that we've recently purchased is this very, very compact playpen slash travel court. This is absolutely amazing because when Vinny needs to have a little nap through the daytime or it's a weekend and the other children are upstairs and obviously being noisy, I can put him in here for quiet time and he basically just gets in here and just has a really nice little sleep. He's just got like a little sheet in there, a little activity toy. We have him a little blanket to pop in there and he can just have a nice quiet time plus I always know where he's at. If I need to go answer the door etc I know that he's very safe and secure and it's just been perfect for us. We've had it now for like a week and I can't recommend it high enough. We purchased this from Argos. This is the brand Kugel I think you would pronounce it and it's the most perfect size. It's not too big or bulky and it fits in amazing with our living room. The next item is going to be toys that Vinnie absolutely loves and it is this Fisher Price Bebop Alien and Vinnie absolutely loves them. We have got the giant one, I have no idea, I think it's just called Bebop. I think he was $29.99. Um, we've then got the little mini one which he takes out in the car or in his pram. What does he do? What does he do, Vinny? Is he good? And then you have the soft one, don't you? This one was ten ninety nine, and it's a soft version of the Bebop. And Vinny absolutely loves them. It, I just can't recommend them enough. Um, I first thought it was like a gimmicky toy. I'd seen lots of people buying them, but he absolutely loves them. Is it good? Well, the next thing that Vinny absolutely loves is his stacking cups. These ones are a set from Marks and Spencers. They were eight pound. And this little set is a set that you purchase at Ikea. And I think these were around about three pound. And I don't know what it is with stacking cups, but he absolutely loves them. He can play literally for like a good 10, 15 minutes, not getting bored in the slightest and I'll just play and pull all his cups apart. But yeah, stacking cups have been an absolute winner. He takes them in the bath. Uh, he has a little set that he takes out and about to go to a restaurant. Definitely recommend the stacking cups. So the next toy that Vinny loves is this Little Tykes version of a baby's version of like an iPad. It has lots of different buttons across it and he just loves it. He takes it out in the car, he takes it out on his pram and he thinks that he's a big boy because his brother and sister have iPads. So he thinks that this is his version of the iPad. And then the last toy is this chewy hippo. I bought this when I was pregnant with Vinny and it just appeals to me just because it's a really chubby hippo. But for some reason, Vinny is absolutely obsessed with it. He chews it, he loves it. It's very much like the Sophia giraffe, but it's a big chubby hippo and it has some hands to it. I'll see if I can attach it off him. Can mommy have it please to show the camera? And this is the hippo. I'm going to give it back to him now. There you go. You can have Mr. Hippo and it's by Cheeky Chompers. And I put mine in John Lewis's and I think it was twelve ninety nine. Are you having a good time with that? And as you can see, he absolutely loves him. I hope you've enjoyed that really short video of just a few things that me and Vinny have got on well with over the last 10 months. If you haven't already subscribed to me, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave any comments down below about any of the little products that you've seen in this video or anything else that you want to chat about. Um, give it a thumbs up. I know that's a bit cliche, but if you really like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And please stick always around for more videos. Um, I love making these type of videos for everyone. And then, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.